Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to Holy Habitus, this week brought to you from behind bars. Um, we're in the book of Acts in the one year Bible reading plan and uh, we've just finished it. And that's really exciting. It's been a great book, isn't it? Reading through. Started off in Jerusalem with G Jesus giving his disciples this commission to go and share the good news in Jerusalem, uh, in Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And we see that agenda for mission carried out by the apostles uh, in the coming years. Uh, and so the book of Acts is ending. Um, symbolically at the ends of the known world because he's in Rome the capital of the empire um, uh, and all the known world so here is Paul but he's behind bars which is interesting it seems like something's gone wrong or awry and yet it, and yet it hasn't and this is the perspective the book of Acts teaches us that actually external circumstances aren't the thing to fix our eyes on actually God has brought freedom and liberation for the people within our hearts and and Paul we're, we read is here behind bars but he's proclaiming the kingdom of God and teaching um, the good news everything about the Lord Jesus Christ uh, and he's doing so with boldness unhinderedly literally in the Greek with boldness with all boldness unhinderedly I don't know if that's a true word but that's what it says and so Paul um, despite being behind bars despite being limited or so it seems by his external circumstances is enjoying and utilizing an interior freedom and unhinderedness in preaching and proclaiming the gospel with all boldness sometimes we blame our external circumstances we use that to justify our own limitations and yet actually this shows us that most limitations most hinderedness um, come from within our inner hang-ups lead to external hold-ups in the proclamation of the gospel and we need to um, tackle some of the interior landscape issues of fear insecurity pride shame guilt all these levers within which the devil uses to stop us from sharing the good news or living the life of faith boldly and unhinderedly because it was for freedom that Jesus set us free as Paul wrote in one of his letters and um, so why do we stay shackled and when the prison door has been thrown open. So this week, maybe the challenge is, is just to pick through that interior landscape, to go and lock yourself in a room and say, Lord, please um, help me um, to become more, in, more free in my interior world. Help me to be unhindered within, that I might be bolder in proclaiming the good news of Jesus and living out that good news within my life. And when we do, we will see, I'm sure, the kingdom of God coming within and without.